Hi everyone, uh, my name's Kev. Um, I teach audio up in the uh, Byron Bay campus in northern New South Wales. And today I wanted to share something with you. Um, so one of the questions that popped up in uh, one of our classes recently was, is there a way that you can um, make sound in one DAW, Digital Audio Workstation, and pass that audio, uh, audio through to another DAW workstation? And of course the answer is yes. Um, it relies on a third party piece of software, um, but these are readily available and um, easy to find on the internet. One of the ones that I use is called I Show You. And ironically, um, let me show you uh, how that works today real quickly in this little uh, how-to video. So without further ado, um, you can see that we are in uh, Bitwig over here, which is a personal DAW favorite of mine, highly recommend it. And obviously the ubiquitous uh, Ableton Live is over here. So what we can do is just set up a couple of things and then get recording from Bitwig into Live. So Bitwig, in a sense, is going to be acting as my instrument today, and I'm going to be piping the audio from it into live. So we have to do a couple of settings as, as normal uh, in computer world. If we click up here in Bitwig, make sure we're on the audio tab here on the left hand. We want our output device to be piping the audio to this virtual driver, which is known as I Show You Audio Capture. If you Google that, you'll find it. Um, so that will send our audio from Bitwig to this virtual audio driver and it will just kind of sit there inside our Mac really until we pick it up in another DAW recording system. So if I just uh, hit the keyboard, you can see me making noise over there in Bitwig. Cool. So over in live, what we need to do if we hit command comma, which is a common shortcut on Mac OS X to open up preferences. And again, make sure we're on the audio tab. And over here is our point of interest. And we can see that our input device has been changed to be the same as Bitwig's output device. Um, I show you output, I show you input. Fantastic, so out of one into the other. And then the output device for live is just set to whatever you would be monitoring. And for me, I've just got my headphones uh, smashed into the built-in output of the Mac over there. So if we record ARM and hit record in live, uh, we should very quickly see if I, again, hit the keyboard, that we are tracking in one or the other, which is fantastic. Um, there's so many useful applications for this, um, particularly with DAWs when they want you to use um, their uh, bespoke instruments, like Live has a slew of really cool instruments, as does Bitwig, um, but you can't run them in any other. They belong in that DAW and only in that DAW, so this way you can play with one. But if you, want, uh, if you want to work in a session that somebody else has given you in another, you can do that. So there's, there's, a, there's a ton of reasons why this might be a useful thing to check out and to get running. Thanks a lot for tuning in. I hope to be making more of these, and I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy. See you soon. Bye-bye.